Major League Soccer is coming to San Diego and Snapdragon Stadium. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcelo Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. The official announcement came today at Snapdragon Stadium, which will be home to the yet to be named team in 2025. Tonight we have team coverage. Our Jake Gariani is here to talk about how significant this is for our local sports scene and the city. But first, let's go live to CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes. She's at the stadium with reaction from really excited sports fans. Kirsten. Yes, indeed. Now the stadium is empty behind me right now, but it was packed with people ready to celebrate the new expansion of MLS right here in San Diego. Now this might be the worst kept secret in the city because the announcement didn't really surprise a lot of San Diegans. But at today's announcement, we asked some of the key players some key questions. Take a look. My friends, San Diego is a sports town. Am I right? And just like that, what was once not a sports town becomes we are soccer city. That is what San Diego is with the wildly popular National Women's Soccer League representing in San Diego through the Wave FC and the San Diego Loyal FC. Carrie Coppich with the San Diego Tourism Authority says we're ready between San Diego and Tijuana and the amount of viewers and players and fans. It'll be fantastic for our community. The Loyal is unbelievable and the Wave is unbelievable and this just adds another Thing. Jerry Sanders, former San Diego mayor and police chief, says nobody thought that we could build Snapdragon. Nobody thought that San Diego State would take over this property. Certainly nobody thought we were going to get MLS and it's all coming true. San Diego Loyal sent a message saying they're committed to growing soccer in the city, saying, quote, our plan is simple. We aren't going anywhere. So when it comes to this new MLS expansion team, let me ask you the real question. What do you hope the name will be? I, don't, I, don't. I have no idea about the name, but I'm excited to hear what it'll be. Any thoughts on a name? <laughs> I have a few ideas, but I the, the team and the ownership, particularly Saquon, have been very clear that they want to engage the community in this. And because we are working for you, we got the answer straight from the horse's, I mean, owner's mouth. The name's not yet decided, like uh, we're doing some studies and focus groups just to see what's the best name, what's the best colors, what people want here, because this is your team. I think San Diego FC is not that bad. Sammy Kanan is a striker on the University of San Diego's soccer team. He says the colors should be black and white, so it's easier for the new team to match Snapdragon's already red and black stadium. And he says a mascot might be nice too. So another key question. Is San Diego looking at a future San Diego MLS superstar player right here? I mean, I'll have to see. Just give it a couple of years. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. A hometown hero. If that happens, we hope those dreams come to fruition. Okay, so after I talked with the new owner of the new MLS team that's coming here, CBS 8's Jake Gariani got some real answers about the possibility of the real name of the new soccer team that's coming here. I'm not going to steal his thunder, but we are all very excited about Major League Soccer coming to San Diego. Back to you guys. Yeah, Jake got the big scoop and he is standing yeah. by with that. We're going to get that in just a moment. But Kirsten, what else can you tell us about the new MLS team's owners? People want to know. Okay, so this is history in the making. First off, we got to tell you about the Sequan tribe. They will become the first Native American tribe to have ownership in professional soccer. So we celebrate that. We're also going to talk about Mohammed Mansour. He's a British Egyptian businessman, philanthropist, and it was his $500 million that really helped bring Major League Soccer to the area. And another name that most everybody in San Diego knows, Manny Machado of the Padres, also in the ownership team. So a lot of fans are going to be coming here to Snapdragon. Stadium. Great to see Manny digging his roots a little bit deeper. Kirsten Holmes reporting for us. Thanks, Kirsten. And again, soccer won't be played at Snapdragon Stadium, at least not by the new MLS team until 2025. Yes, but this is going to have a huge impact on San Diego and soccer fans. As promised, our Jake Gariani is standing by to continue our team coverage. Jake, What's the scoop that you got today? The, the team name we, I think, found out, right? It was yeah. kind of a group of us. We, we hammered it home. Or at least the shape of the name, the rough shape. Yeah. We're, we're not the, sure the order yet. The rough shape, yes. We, we kind of have two options, which, which we'll talk further about in sports. You'll hear the exact uh, the sound bite. But it's going to either be FC San Diego or San Diego FC. So Football Club of San Diego or San Diego Football Club. So there you go. I hope you enjoy that. Hopefully you like the name. But today truly was something special. You know, we beat out 
Vegas and plenty of other markets to land this team. And I was down there at Snapdragon when they made the official announcement. And as Kirsten said, we all knew it was coming, right? But soccer fan or not, this just felt invigorating. It's so great to see another major league sport make its way to America's finest city. This city deserves major league sports and a lot of them. We all know the history here, right? But San Diego has an incredible fan base and a hunger to cheer and go wild for their teams. And now we're just getting one more thing we can all rally around and support in a sport that feels like it hasn't fully hit its peak here in this city. And it's that sense of community and togetherness that I'm most excited about. And a man who really made this all possible is most excited about. We catch up once again with the man who helped it all get here, Mr. Mohammed Mansour. How important is it for you to grow soccer in this country and especially in this community where there's another country just south of the border that can enjoy it as well? Well, soccer, soccer, I think soccer builds people. I mean, soccer brings people together. I mean, there's nothing that builds, uh, brings people together more than soccer, sports in general. And we have south of the border, you know, uh, community and also the community in, in, uh, in San Diego and around the area of California. I think you, you can, we will have an amazing club here. I'm very, very, very uh, optimistic about the future of the San Diego club. So again, 30th club and MSL, they will begin play in 2025. And we're going to hear from Manny Machado, who is a part owner. I saw him when we were down there. He walked up and I go, oh, what, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? And then it all made sense. <laughs> we got we got tons of sound coming up in sports too. more going back down to Snapdragon Stadium. So we can one of the best moments today for me watching was uh, the tribal leaders just to quantify yeah. how they've they've sponsored and supported yeah. teams for years. But now they have a team. Uh, there was this cool moment where we were talking with the chairman of the Saquon tribe and he goes, we, we've been supporting these teams, we've been doing everything, and now to be sitting at the table, yes. yeah. to have a part of the cake, it feels so special. And Mr. Monsor said it feels like a thousand birthdays rolled into oh. one. It, it was really a special feeling. And you can tell the sense of pride that they have in this city. And of course, again, I mentioned it, we all know the history here. It's awesome to see people rooted in, in this community and wanting being a part of it. Yeah. Nice to see that it's a group. We have the big money from yeah. outside. Yes. Could have been a little daunting, but some familiar faces with deep roots here in San Diego is nice to see. And I think that's what making Saquon being a part of it helps. You yeah. Know? yeah, it's so. really neat. They're no longer just uh, one of the names on a banner yeah. or so forth. They're the owners. So yeah. It's amazing. Thanks, Thanks Jake. Jake. We'll see you more in sports.